It was on a trip to the Indonesian island of Banda that Valerie forged her most memorable relationship. Here, in the tropical waters, she formed a lifelong friendship with an unlikely playmate. When I first met Honey, in 1974, she was very afraid. I just saw this big white eel with black spots. I'd never seen a white eel with black spots. I knew nothing about them. And she was on a little bommy, a little piece of coral on the sand, and I swam over and I spoke to her. And she just hid. And every year, when we'd go back to the island of Banda, in the Banda Sea, I'd go down and visit this eel. Because, like a lot of animals, they have a home, and you could always find it in her home. She never, ever was friendly. I offered a fish, she wasn't friendly. And this is year to year to year, you know. One day, and I'm lying outside, chatting away to this eel, and she came out. She didn't just come out. She swam around me, she swam between my legs, she nuzzled my face, and I thought, this is amazing. And after that, we have been great friends. And now when she sees me coming, and I might not see her for a year, once I didn't see her for three years, this thing comes out across the sand and swims over to me and hugs and loves, and she loves to be scratched. And There is no doubt in my mind that that eel really likes me. One of the nobles of Banda has said that nobody is to touch that eel, so she has the protection of the king. She is exceptional. Valerie's unusual and intimate relationships with marine animals developed into the trademark for Ron's films. There was no sudden awakening like, let's go and make movies, let's make our living at it. Everything just sort of happened in little bits. 